scientists at CERN just announced a terrifying new discovery. Do you believe in paranormal activities? Your response may vary from one another, but scientists using the Large Hadron Collider found a ghost-like particle accelerator for the first time. What these scientists have discovered, and why is it referred to as a ghost, should we be scared of this particular discovery? In this video, I'll bring out the answers to all these questions, so stay tuned until the end. The Large Hadron Collider is the most powerful and largest particle accelerator in the world. On September 10 in 2008, it was launched and remains the latest addition to the CERN Accelerator Complex. The LHC consists of a 27 kilometer long ring of superconducting magnets with a series of accelerating structures to increase the energy of the particles along the way. Inside the accelerator, two beams of high-energy particles travel at almost the speed of light before being forced to collide. The jets travel in opposite directions in separate beam tubes. The two tubes are kept under an ultra-high vacuum. They are steered around the accelerator ring by a strong magnetic field maintained by a superconducting electromagnet. By magnetic fields, the particles are directed and focused in the Large Hadron Collider. Two high-energy particle beams shoot about, nearly the speed of light before they are made to collide. You might not know LHC is built under the Earth's nearly 100 meters deep, and the cost to build LHC was $4.75 billion. But what has the Large Hadron Collider observed? Neutrinos! A recent discovery at CERN is neutrinos, also called ghost particles. Neutrinos are the finest particles ever discovered that were spotted during the test run of the LHC. The achievement was made possible through the joint work of CERN's forward such experiments. But what are neutrinos? Even though neutrinos are elusive, which is why they are called ghost particles, they are produced by different nuclear processes. Neutrinos mean they are little neutral ones. Out of all four forces, neutrinos interact with only two, that is gravity and the weak force, the force that is responsible for the radioactive decay of atoms. Neutrinos have no mass and they can travel at the speed of light. You might not know a lot of neutrinos were produced within a fraction of a second during the Big Bang, but of course, numerous neutrinos are still being produced today. They originate from the nuclear heart of stars, inside particle accelerators, and atomic reactors. They are also coming into existence during supernovas and in the radioactive decay of a substance. There are numerous neutrinos, but it has been tough to crack for scientists. Their neutrality made it tough for scientists to know much about them. This is why billions of them can pass through a square centimeter of you, but you can't notice them. Neutrinos carry a wealth of information as they travel through the universe, unlike other particles that may be distorted by interaction with different matter. We know about neutrinos, it means we can get close to the theory of the beginning of the universe. Quarks So what are quarks? Quarks are elementary particles, which come in six flavors. Up, down, charm, odd, up and down. They usually combine in groups of two or three to form hadrons, like the protons and neutrons that make up the nucleus of an atom. Less frequently, however, these particles combine to form four quark and five quark particles. Theorists predicted these exotic hadrons at the same time as conventional hadrons about six decades ago, but only relatively recently in the last 20 years have they been observed by the LHC and other experiments. Cherenkov radiation. Scientists have managed to capture neutrinos before they had been the Japanese Super Candy Cameo Detector, Fern Lab's Mini Boon, and the Antarctic Ice Cube Detector. All of these managed to detect neutrinos using the procedure known as Sherenkov radiation. Sherenkov radiation is analogous to the more famous sonic boom effect when an aircraft travels slower than the speed of sound in an environment. The deflection of the air around the airplane's wings becomes smooth. 
However, when the cruise speed exceeds the average speed of sound, a sudden pressure change occurs and the shock wave propagates away from the plane in a cone at the speed of sound. And more analysis they did, the more exotic hadron types they found. I think we are witnessing a period of discovery similar to that of the 1950s, when the discovery of the hadron particle zoo began and eventually it led to the quark model of the conventional hadron, which was in the 1960s. The discovery of new types of tetraquarks and pentaquarks and measuring their properties will help scientists to develop a unified model of exotic hadrons whose exact properties are still unknown. Scientists are building new detectors which will be more sensitive in detecting neutrinos and also will be able to detect differences between the neutrinos and their antimatter opposite, anti-neutrinos. LHC has planned to use the detector to study the neutrinos produced by the particle accelerator in depth when they power up again. With a new detector, it is expected to record more than 10,000 neutrinos interactions. Neutrinos are not only things scientists are working on, the team is also working on detecting hypothetical dark photons. This is very awesome. I hope these experiments turn into reality soon.